It is 13 feet wide from this corner to that corner. It is 10 feet, six inches tall from the top of the plenum or the top of the booth to the bottom of the booth. It is eight feet, eight inches tall from the, the bottom of the door to the top of the door. It is eight feet wide from this corner of the door to that corner of the door. That is the main entrance to the booth. That is the door that you would go through if you were painting. The entire ceiling is filters and that's where the air enters the booth. This is the base of the booth. This is how I have it set up. It doesn't have to be set up like this, but I made a pit. Uh, I put these grates in and then I made a tunnel. The tunnel goes back below the plenum and I'll go back there and I'll show you how I have that set up. Okay, so this is the air makeup unit. That's the top of the booth. That's all the plenum up there. So that's what the, the filters are attached to is that giant box basically. All right, this is uh, the exhaust. I never put a stack coming out. It just was exhausting basically into this barn here. And so when you, when you're painting, you will open this door like that. And there's in, there's a pre-filter here and that pre-filter behind it is the fan. And when you open this door, you're letting in fresh air. And then when you close the door, the way that this would work is, is it would uh, recycle the air. So it pulled up from the bottom and it would recycle the air. And what that does is when, when you have the heat on it, it recycles it and it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. And that's how you would bake the paint. Normally, if it's just on, it's just heating enough to keep things warm so that you can paint. And then when you flip that door, it would just increase in heat until it got hot enough to where it would bake the paint. This is the, the, uh, the heat for the furnace or the, it's the, the flame. It's what makes the flame. There's a chamber, a big chamber behind it. And that chamber heats up. Those are the exhausts. I have a stack for that, but I was just exhausting it basically into this barn and this is the plumbing it goes to the outside of the barn i have a 500 gallon propane tank these are this is the setup that i have um this motor right here the center motor it's not a motor at all it's been gutted i just use it as bearings basically and then i attached a single phase motor because that's a three phase motor attached to a single phase motor and then i was working on never got around to it but i I have two sets of motors and I was going to increase the um, rotational speed of the center motor but right now I have it running I think probably around maybe 1200 RPMs or something. It's supposed to be running at 1750 RPMs which this motor I think runs at 1750 RPMs so you would have to get a pulley equivalent to the size of this one or you could downsize this pulley but and then you know, you'd probably want to run all these at the same RPM. So 1750 RPM, that'd be ideal. 
Here's the control panel. Um, a lot of it is not functional. It's all kind of how it used to work and whatnot. But how it works now is I have the lights for the booth and then I have the heat and you would just flip that and then the heat would come on. And then this is the how to turn on the motor. 